Hello. Um, I want to show you how to do a couple of things here. Um, the first is uh, in and around the updates page and how to set uh, both privacy um, settings on your uh, individual courses as well as uh, how to determine the landing page. Um, so it's a little easy for me to show you here. Let's start with my AP World History class, period one. Uh, so when I click on it, you'll notice that my page lands on the updates page. I, I've noticed um, a lot of folks land on the materials page. Uh, here's my rationale for landing on the updates page. Um, if we went back a lot further on this, uh, before we were out of school, and before my shoulder surgery, you'll start seeing uh, every day I post what we did in class, every day, uh, I add things to it so that when the kids land here, they just look for the day, right, to know what we've done. Um, in the email I'm going to send uh, as well, you're going to see how my wife does that. Um, I just think, uh, especially during this time, uh, recording during the, the period we're closed with the coronavirus, um, that kids might not see files. Um, but if you post on this page and you treat it, I call it the Facebook wall, um, they're more likely to see that, um, but you also have to get them there. So how do you uh, do that, right? So you start a course um, options, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna go to edit privacy course settings. Okay, and to start the land, default landing page, right? You're gonna get two choices. Uh, my advice would be to land on the update page the other thing uh, I want to point out to you here is this is where you set um, both moderation and um, uh, the, the settings for what you can allow kids to do, right? So I allow my students in AP to post, post course updates, right? So they can post what they wanted. Some of you might not feel as comfortable, so you'd want to leave that on a course administrator, which is you. Um, I would always say, uh, to allow them to post on course updates because um, if you've posted and they're confused, um, they can post there. Uh, and then another kid might be able to respond uh, and have the answer um, without waiting for you. For me, that always kind of builds that kind of community I want my kids to have where uh, instead of waiting for the teacher to respond, they can help each other. Uh, the other thing there is about discussion responses. It allows them to edit their own response. Um, I leave that on, that's just me, right? So I'm gonna put mine back so that my kids can post course updates. Um, the other thing I'm gonna suggest you do, a lot of you, especially those of you with younger kids, um, as well as um, what's not a bad idea, uh, maybe you've got a study hall, you're not paying attention, you haven't deleted, um, if you go over here and enable moderation, that means if they post something, that you have to approve the post uh, or the response. And for some of you, that might just make a lot more sense, right? So this is my video on both why I think the updates page is important uh, and how to set that up, as well as how to set up the settings um, for your course as far as the details and the privacy uh, are concerned and who can post and when. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, certainly you guys know, uh, always see email.